Skittles. Pills. X. Triple stacks. Rolls. Smiley faces. E-bombs. MDMA. Molly. Beans. Ecstasy. It's not worth the momentary high. It just sucks the life out of you. It sucks the happiness out of you. Ecstasy is a synthetic or man-made mind-altering drug. It can have other qualities like as a stimulant, a depressant, or hallucinogenic. They're almost the size of like an Advil or something and they have different pictures and they're all different colors. I mean, it's a designer drug. It's made with all different types of chemicals. You never know what's in it. The facts are is that it's not just in nightclubs or raves anymore. It's in our own homes. Kids are taking it and teenagers are taking it. Adults are taking it for fun. They think it's a recreational drug and it's not, it's much more serious than that. Well, it started out as parties. It started out like me and my boyfriend would go to a party. 90 to 100% of the people were on ecstasy when I was at parties. I mean, there's so many different varieties of it out there, whether it's cut with methamphetamine like heroin, um, some's cut with more dope than others. So when I took ecstasy where I was hallucinating so heavily, it was because the batch had acid in it or LSD in it. It was a speed-based ecstasy pill. And I was so wired up, I had foam coming out of the side of my mouth. There's just so many things that play a factor in it. It's pretty unknown. I've been to raves and seen countless people taken away in ambulances. Just you never know what you're going to get in that pill. It was a summer out of eighth grade. I was about 16 the first time I took ecstasy. Well, I was 18. I just got out of high school and was moving into my first college apartment. As a freshman in college, that would have been 19, 20 years old, 19 years old. I went to uh, celebrate my 21st birthday with a bunch of friends, and uh, I went to this club, and one of my friends pulled me aside in the bathroom and said, hey, I mean, you want to, you feel really good right now. I have something that'll make you feel even better. They'd be like, okay, if you take, if you take this ecstasy right now, you're going to feel so great. You're going to feel like you're on top of the world. Just, just try it. Come on. And I was pretty worried. Was this really addictive? What would it do to you? And he just said, oh, no, 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 it's like this really big thing. It's really, really big in the nightclub scene. And it's not that bad. It's not like you get addicted to it or anything. It had a little dolphin stamp on it. And I thought, OK, this can't be bad. I mean, one small little pill, no big deal. So me and a bunch of my girlfriends took it. And we were partying all night long. But then the next morning, I didn't realize what it had done to me because I was so depressed. It just sucked like all the happiness out of me. The next day, I woke up, and I just felt so bad. The first thing I thought was, you know what? Like, I can't wait to take more X because I just don't want to feel like this. And you know, for the next few days after I took it, I felt like crap. The next time you take it, it's like you have to take four to five pills. But when you come down, all you want is to go back up again because you just hit that depression. And next thing you know, you're you're like taking nine to ten pills, not even getting close to that first time. Just stuck in your head, what, I'm such a loser, I'm this, I'm that, you know what I mean? And I'll never do this drug again, and then half an hour to an hour later, you're doing it again, because it's the only thing that makes you feel better. And so it pretty much was like a revolving door, just like trying to get happy, then getting sad, then happy, then sad, and just kept getting worse and worse. So you're almost scared to come down from it, because you don't know what's gonna happen when you come down, because you're so depressed, you feel so bad, your body feels so terrible. You can't sleep, you can't eat, you're like extremely hot and sweating. I was being up and down, up and down every day. My emotions were so dysfunctional. They didn't make any sense to me. I didn't know what was going on with my body. I felt like a different person. I felt, you know, I wasn't okay with myself. I felt like a different guy when I was on it. It just really warps the brain and I think it changes a person's personality. And unfortunately, it's been heavily promoted. It's okay, it's a party drug, it's a love drug, and really it's a dangerous drug. Take it in a nightclub and you'll go and you'll dance and you're not worried about, you know, going and getting water or whether or not your, you know, your heart's about to explode, it's pumping so fast. The whole time I was high on ecstasy, I'd be clenching my jaw. You literally just want to like, go like, bite down and clench your teeth the whole time. You can overdose, you can overheat your body, you can dehydrate your body and pass out. It's just like this urge to go, go, go. I would dance until I, I couldn't, until I blacked out. I actually have witnessed more than once um, somebody dying from the first time of taking ecstasy. It made me somebody who I wasn't. I mean, I was fulfilling my addiction. 
whether it's through running prostitution rings, gambling rings, selling drugs, selling drugs to kids. I drove on ecstasy a couple times. I had no idea what was really going on. I know I would, I would see a stop sign or a stoplight, and I'd be like, wow, that's really, really red. I didn't make the connection. Well, it's a red light. I should think I should stop my car now driving under the you know under the influence of ecstasy. I didn't make those connections at all. We were probably 16 or 17 and I was the only one who was on ecstasy and everybody else was drinking. So the police came and saw us and everybody was acting drunk and silly and they took me and put me into jail for the night and held me there. At the time I thought it was hilarious because I didn't care about anything. I was on ecstasy but then the next morning I'm like oh my god I'm in jail right now. I got caught with ecstasy on me, got thrown in jail in a really run down area of South Carolina and I was on ecstasy and I was extremely depressed in jail around these really big guys threatening to basically beat me up. We went out to a club one night and I had taken, you know, two or three rolls and I got in the club and I started pouring the sweat. I ended up passing out and they had to throw me into a cold shower. I was passed out but the people who worked in the club would drag me out of the out of the nightclub because they don't want you to die on in their club. So they'll drag you out to the sidewalk and leave you there until the ambulance comes in and takes you away. I blacked out for God knows how long and woke up in a tub of ice with my friends around me. The fear in their faces of not knowing if I was alive or not. And the craziest part about it is in a situation like that, because drugs are involved, you don't know whether to call an ambulance or what to do because you have the fear of getting in trouble for it too. Basically, I could have died because they didn't know what to do. Ecstasy, it's that's such a like a new and designer drug over the last like decade or so. They really don't even still know the long-term effects of it themselves because it depends on what type you're using. It causes brain damage, and uh, when you have brain damage, that can cause effects on various things such as coordination, um, you know, certain dexterities, communication. I had, um, for a long time, jaw pain. I've had, like, teeth problems for a long time after I took them. Like when I see a doctor and stuff, they tell me my worst uh, repercussions are down the road. You know what I mean, with, with the drug abuse I did. They didn't tell me that I was going to become very addicted to this. I was going to become extremely depressed. I was going to develop a, you know, two or three hundred dollar habit a week on this stuff. That I'd have to go to rehab, rehabs. That I was going to be arrested three times. That I was going to be thrown in jail two times. You know, that I was going to have to total three cars. Uh, Nobody really ever told me about that stuff, you know, the first time I took ecstasy. It seems like it's a lot of fun, and and you think that every, everybody else is doing it, or or they look like they're having a great time, but in reality, it's evil. I mean, it'll take control of you and run your life for you. If I knew what I knew now, and I could go back, I never would have touched a drug. I mean, like I said, when I went into it, I didn't think it was going to do any damage. It seemed like a normal thing to, for me, you know, to take ecstasy. That a lot of people took ecstasy and they ended up doing fine. But that's not the case. Nothing bad may happen. Cool, that's fine. Take these next three weeks. How are you going to feel? What about your job, your school, your body's health, your family's, you know, emotions towards you? You take those two facts, it's not, there's no choice. It's like jumping out of a, a plane and, and, you know, and just having a, a set of silverware as a parachute, it's, you know, it's not a decision. It's true, it really is, because even if you don't get hurt from the drug the first time you take it and you enjoy it, there's a downside to that too, because then you enjoy it, then you want to do it again. And once you do it again, it's the start of your own destruction.